Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Once again, this is happening in an office that isn't technically 100% completed, so if the sound's a bit off or whatnot, then I apologize. Ah, uh, but we are currently waiting for Hex to get back from gene modification, and then we'll be assaulting the alien base. If we are lucky, we might actually be able to do Exalt before then as well. It's just a matter of actually finding it. So, if we look at our COVID operations, we've got France, Germany, Japan, and Mexico left as the only places that we can actually investigate. I'm gonna toss an intel scan at Mexico. A worldwide intel sweep. Positive identification confirmed. Bingo! Okay, so he found them in the UK, which means I might be able to send Diaz in. Where is Diaz? There you are. And Diaz finally gets a plasma pistol! Hooray for you, Diaz! Okay, and everything else, you're fine at once. So now, Diaz can probably one-shot a bunch of dudes. What's the damage here? Up to 5 to, five to 7 critical, plus all of Diaz's uh, pistol-related abilities. So Diaz can now quite happily take somebody down just entirely by herself, which is good. So, Diaz will be getting some gene mods later down the line, uh, and then we'll probably be looking at somebody quite murderous. But uh, here we go. Don't patch that through. No. We're here to track alien activity, not investigate haunted houses. Okay, firstly, um, Adams, what, is it Adams? No, it's just like, it's like Brandon or whatever. Anyways, Central. Who is calling us about a haunted house? Like... What? Who? Weirdness. Uh, okay, well, got not much else going on here, so let's spin. Excavation complete. Ooh, goody. Covert operative ready. Ah! Uh, Right, so, Operation Operative holds intel at the location of the Exalt base, so safe kind of- okay, so it's an escort mission. That is fine by me, we can practically send everybody else, everybody that we did last time. Hex, of course, is still out, so we're pretty much just relying on Johansson here. Um, we've got four colonels. <laughs> four colonels, a squaddy, and a goliath. Well, well, squaddy, you're coming along with us, because you're sticking with your bro. And basically, everybody else is fine, really. I'm. Hmm, let's tap out uh, Ustream here for one of our more recent people. Eehehe, <laughs> nine days. Uh, so, who have we got? We've got. Hmm, who could do with being leveled up here? Let's go with Murphy. I feel I'm going to regret this, but let's go with Murphy. I mostly feel I'm going to regret this because of Murphy's law, but we'll see. Laser assault rifle. Yeah, I've got a light plasma assault rifle. Actually, what's the damage? Light plasma is 8 to 10. Laser is also 8 to 10. 4, 6, and 10. So a light plasma rifle is equivalent to a full laser assault rifle. Eww. No wonder, we're, no wonder we're ruining them. And an anti fiber. There you go. Oh, that's some low will you got there, Murphy. Let's hope it doesn't come into play much. Okay. And let's swap out Adams for Tectonic. Where are you? Do, 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 do. There you are. Oop, you apparently had all of your like stuff unequipped. There you go. There we go. Okay, well, now we get that. That's good to know. And the particle cannon? There we go. Eh, it's not gonna give me a video for that one. Okay, fine. So, there we are. That is a team ready to do some damage. So, assuredly, let's go. I, f I feel like at that kind of speed, that the Sky Ranger barely should have been even like airborne. Oops, sorry, just hit the mic. I am actually using my old blue snowball right now because the uh, 
lovely road podcast. Like, oh, oh, but we, we used to know it's down here rather than up here. So. Has an opportunity to finish securing the intel. Rendezvous. Hack to com relays. After intel secure, get out and kill everybody. Fine by me. Whoop. Everyone takes a rope, except for Tectonic, who just creates a small earthquake. <laughs> Our field operative was detected by Exalt forces while in the process of mining some valuable intel from their comm relays. Strike one will need to protect the operative while they finish the yeah, there's relay the one. data from the other relays. If the operative goes down, we'll lose any chance of recovering that intel. New objective received. Yeah, Hansen, can you... Yes, you can get up. Good. Throw on the hook. Nothing yet, but that's kind of what I expected. Diaz, where are you? You're way, way over here. Oh, jeez. So you're closest by far to this one. Ugh. I don't really want to get you running. Not yet, anyways. Not while you're on your lonesome. So let's get you over here. Okay, and I've got clean sights to that. Now Diaz can dish out a fair dose of pain, but is still quite squishy. Fortunately, by the looks of it, these are on the exact same street, so we should be able to get basically just a big run down this street, and we'll be able to get our get our troop home. Okay, where's the squaddy? Where's the other Gaza? There you are, Cesar. Oh jeez, I just say Cesar instead of Caesar. Hmm, that's that's bad. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, that's accurate. But the only reason that I would say Cesar is because of well, basically Bamboo's influence of me watching the occasional episode of uh, Generator Rex. Okay, the Shiv and Murphy can move through here. Which will get you into this back alleyway. And don't worry, Shivy Poo. Once we shoot some aliens, we'll have you shooting plasma just like everybody else. What was that sound? I don't know how that could have happened, considering that we haven't even ended the turn yet. There we go. Okay, we're good. So, Ivar, get further along here, please. And then Diaz. I, it is so tempting to make you dash for this, but it is such a bad idea. Nevertheless, I'm known for- I, I've, I've been known to make a bad decision every now and then. Heck knows that much. Okay, we now have eyes on both relays. Good. Let's get the shiv moving. That was the furthest that Murphy can move. Murphy can get to the door. The shiv can get past it. Alright, fine. Let's put you... I think it'll be around about there. Hello! Hi boys, how you doing? Ivar, nothing. Oh come on, Ivar. Really? Nothing at all. Wow. Kind of surprised, I'll admit. I'm surprised nobody got a got a shot on that. Let's get you over here then. Oh, I'll admit, I pretty much brought Murphy along for the Murphy's Law reference. Anything that can go wrong will. Although, if you want, you can just tell us a different story to it. Taking a shot at the ship? Go ahead. That's what's there for. 
Also taking a shot. Whoa! Missed badly. And you're just grenading. Okay. Oh, that's not a grenade. Well, it is a grenade, but it's... Is that restorative mist? Might well be. Right, fellas. I've got some really bad news for you, because you're about to experience something that I experience a lot in TF2. A heavy coming around the corner at the wrong moment. So, um... 40, 61... 62... Oh, oh, that is just so painful, isn't it? Hmm. Well, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you're doing. And the and the wall you rode in on. <laughs> Let's poke you up here. Can you get a shot of those guys now? Yes, you can. Eighty-three percent chance for murder. Oh, nailed into the ground. Okay, the yes. Our operative is near one of the Exalt Com relays, Commander. You just need to activate it to acquire the residual data. Yeah, which will cause them to start. Actually, we'll just left click to hack. Left click to hack. If you will allow me to, <laughs> come on. There we go. Down, Commander, our operative hacked the system and decrypted some of their data while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays nearby. Who, who are you seeing there for a brief, sp like, split second? Yeah. Probably this guy, who is about to have a bad day. Ding. <laughs> the ships are so cute, I love the ships. And you, you really can't get out the door? Wow. I'm a little surprised, honestly. I could grenade, that's an option. Be a waste of a grenade, but I could. Let's move an overwatch for now. I'm surprised you can't get out that door, considering that there isn't a door there anymore. Hey there now. Right. I've got my eyes on. Okay. Other Garza. Mini Garza, perhaps. Garza with the mini gun. I'm thinking that Gaza, if he lives long enough at least, will probably end up being a heavy mech. All I could do is sniper mech, honestly. Sniper mechs are, given the railgun, pretty ludicrous. Nice shots. Commander, we've got a wave of new contacts moving near Strike One's position. Hmm. There's one. There's two. That all of them? That is all of them. Okay. Diaz. Can you get to cover and, like, break that guy? Yeah, I think you can. Uh, just, just about. I'm rolling. Enemy troops. Except for that, apparently. Okay, well, it's a 90% shot on him, so take it. Eesh, not magnificent, but it's a start. Where's our shiv? Doombot, move! Now what's his shot on him? 50%. But you'll kill him if you hit him. Miss. Mm. Ah, we can't get you anywhere that'll help us, so I'm just gonna put you on a wall now. There is no way in hell that they'll kill Diaz with one shot. It's more just concern than anything else. Fifty-five percent, but you'll kill him if you do. Yeah, he's dead. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let them make heavies bite. Now where did that guy go to? Jeez, you really don't have much movement, do you, Murphy? I'm going to make you run and gun just so you can actually move. Moving on target location. Wow, the ambience in this game. Jeez, I, I I never thought I'd hear like actually realistic police sirens in a game. <laughs> I feel like it's a busy night in Millsburg. Okay. Now let's put somebody up on this thing. Yes, sir. 
There we go. 99%. Oh, dude, you're getting wrecked. Nice. Ooh, we got an alien grenade. Hooray. Now, I know there's one dude still up here. Yes, Commander. So, Cesar, please don't be the first guy he finds. Oh, my mistake. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Although, you're climbing onto a roof where I think you're... Yep. Good effort, Murphy. You're handsome. Yep, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay, we can't see anybody, but that's kind of all right, actually, because Diaz can get to here in one, him like one move, one single solitary move. Come on, it is very picky. That's all the data we're going to get, Commander. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point for extraction. Nice. We have a new objective. Okay, well. Let's put you in a piece of cover there. Go go and have a watch, but it's not a huge concern just yet. Let's get the Shiv over by Diaz to provide an escort. It's gonna be out of business for a little bit, but it should be okay. Johansson on Overwatch. Uh, Gaza, let's get you over here. You don't have much in the way of firepower, but you're still a valuable member of the team. And this might actually end up being a short episode, looking at it, jeez. How rare is it that I have a short XCOM episode? Okay, and Murphy, you cannot run and gun yet, I'll put you on Overwatch. And that just leaves Garza, Garza Senior. We've got more hostiles closing on the AO. Then they're going to die. <laughs> yep. Doom. Enemy target eliminated. Johansson. Yep, Enemy thank you. Any more? <laughs> no. Nobody left. Good. Yes, sir. Over here, Diaz. Your pistol packs a wallop, but nonetheless, I'd like you safe. Partially because you're like the most important piece of uh, piece of personnel on this mission, Roger, Dodger. and also the squishiest. So I know there's at least two guys over there. Still, I'm gonna leave guards there until they can run and gun, so you can cover that distance. Uh, Shivy bot over here. Go, Doom bot. Go. I love the amount of ammunition that these people have now. It's just kind of ridiculous. Okay, Gaza. Rookie Gaza, there you go. And Tectonic. Who's next? Who else wishes to have some? Okay, so there's somebody by the AO. Somebody about to get his head blown off. Well, I say blown off, that kind of implies the head is intact. Bye bye. Just crits everywhere. <laughs> I love that we can see his corpse. That's honestly just pure comedy. Okay, well, that's clearly, clearly nobody here. They're probably all centering on the exact point of the map that we need to get out of here on. Yeah, let's get you move up. Nobody spotted just yet, but I'm sure you'll give them hell. I'm sure you'll give them hell if they do turn up. Let's get you moved up and an Overwatch. You're now beginning the full final move. Hey, bro, how's it going? Doombot, move up. I really wish I could name these guys. There's a there's the, the gremlin I think it's called in XCOM 2 and I really hope you can name them because that would just be 
glory for me. I give them nicknames, give them paint jobs, that kind of thing. You know, really, really personalize the little robot that's like saving your dudes and hacking a robot and hacking like turrets and like. I feel like that's kind of a thing that uh, XCOM 2 needs, given that it has a much more civilian kind of feel to it. It's a resistance element, which means there's less there's less uniform. What little, li what little you have left of your ears is clearly working to our, our advantage there. Okay, Diaz. There's the AO. That's your exit. Hello! 85% hit. Please. Nice. And, guys, I can't get up there, but I think the Shiv might be able to. You definitely can. See him there? No, you can't. Okay. Okay, death bot up here. Fifty percent chance. Ugh, I'll take it. If the outcome is they die, I will take the fifty-fifty chance. Ooh, okay, that's a nice chance. Anyways, says on. I might regret that idea, but we'll see. Yep, nobody else. So far. And I'm gonna want somebody on Overwatch up here, but that's probably going to be these two. Okay, Murphy. Run and gun. Because it's always good to have a couple of people on Overwatch. Especially in missions like this. Now let's not all get too far ahead of Diaz. Moving out. I have cover and fire cover on, on, on their rear as well. Somebody moving in. Not spotted by your handsome, but fairly low health, looks like a medic. Somebody moving in, definitely spotted by your handsome. There we go. Good night, sir. Like, seriously, how do you miss? <laughs> So much death. So much death. Okay. Diaz. Let's get you in here. We've secured there a we go. Operative along with the new data at the extraction point. Strike one can either head to the evac zone to return to HQ now, or stay and secure the area from any remaining hostiles. As far as I know, there's only one hostile left. So I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> Seems fairly straightforward to me. Where's your handsome? Okay, can I get you down to about here? Because he was right against that. There he is. And now he has compromised cover. Good night, sir. I'm about to start keeping score. Was that not the last guy? Okay. Guess I'll move some people out. Roger that. Scanning. Come yeah, on. Can you seriously not reach that one spot there? That's weird. Affirmative, moving out. I don't know why. Yes, sir. So now we'd see her kill everybody. Oh yeah, there'll be like two people over there, wouldn't there? Eh, fine, fine, fine. We'll move then. It's a rare opportunity that I can have a short episode. Continue mission. I don't want to do. I don't want to lose like free kernels. Moving out. On Overwatch. Let's do the troop shuffle to get people in. <laughs> That's fun. Watch. Roger that. And that just leaves Tectonic, if I'm not mistaken. Guess I'm forgetting somebody, in which case apologies. Bunk, 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 bunk. 
Everybody? All soldiers. Good. Extract. Twelve, twelve people dead, and that's a poor rating. Half of them died upon entry to the map. Yeah. Fine. Fine. I'll take your poor rating on that. Yeah. So how did we do? Murphy proved quite helpful. A little bit weird, but helpful. Goliath sat for three days. Murphy killed nobody. Cesar killed one. Although that's in the last mission, I think. Johansson kills 50 freaking four. Usually one hits. Uh, Exalt base is not in Europe. That's actually a useful piece of information. Intel decrypted. And I think we're just like seven. I think we're just seven uh, covert. Uh, we're just like seven weapon fragments away from having our plasma. So next one, it's either Mexico or Japan because we found out it's not in Europe. Mexico or Japan? Hmm. I'm willing to say it's in Japan, but we'll have to find out next time. In fact, we'll have to find out once Hex gets back in nine days. Ooh. So with that in mind, I hope you've enjoyed. Next time.